Hey and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be doing another Mamiji inspired nail art design. I think these nails might be my favourite nails I've ever done. I've posted a couple of these Mamiji inspired nails before because I absolutely adore the designs of these dolls. And after I posted my Toots design, I was contacted by the lovely Claire at Mamiji who wanted to send me a Toots and a Romilly and Walter doll because I told her that Romilly and Walter were my favourite because just look at how freaking adorable these are. Even though I could look at this doll all day, let's get on with the nails because I'm sure that's why you clicked on this video. I started off with a coat of peel off base coat and then I painted my index, middle and little finger white, my ring finger black and my thumb purple. Starting with Romilly's face on my middle finger, I painted two coats of Barry M's pink Manny mask over the white. Then using black acrylic paint and a thin liner nail art brush, I painted a curved line as her eye and then an almost half circle shape as her eye patch. I then added a line out of each side of the eye patch going to the edges of the nails and painted three little lines on the upper right of the eye to be her lashes. I wanted to have part of her black hat showing at the top of the nail so I painted a black curve section around the top Underneath that, I painted three strips of her hair using a light pink polish, leaving a gap so that I could go back and add in a darker strand in the middle. Then using that same light pink polish, I painted on a small mouth in between the eye and the eye patch. I then used a darker pink polish to fill in the gap I left in her hair. I then swapped back to acrylic paint to create a small white star in the centre of her eye patch. and I decided to add a bit more black to the top of the nail so I went back and continued the section down a bit further. I finished her face design with a small oval shape of a really light pink underneath her eye. On my ring finger, I decided to paint the crossbones from her hat using white acrylic paint over the black polish. I started with an X shape in the center of my nail and then I added a small shape on the end of each section of the X. I have no idea how to explain this shape. On my index and little finger, I painted the design of her shirt and jacket. I did these mirrored to each other. So starting on top of the white base, I painted three thick horizontal blue stripes across the nail trying to leave an even space between each line so that it was alternating in even white and blue sections. After that, I painted a vertical line down the center of my nail using black paint and filled in one half of the nail. I'm comfortable painting freehand, but this nail would be great to do with striking tape if you're not as confident freehanding it. finish this nail with six small yellow dots on the black close to the center. On my thumb I painted Walter. Using black acrylic paint I put a small dot on one side of the middle of my nail and then an eye patch on the other side the same way I did Romilly's. Underneath the eye and the eye patch, I put three yellow dots um, in almost like a downward facing triangle shape. I then used white acrylic paint to paint on his mouth 
and finished the design by adding a small diagonal section of black at the top of the nail to be his hat. After I finished all the nails, I put on a layer of matte top coat and this is the final design. I love this design and this doll so much. I'm planning on doing more Momiji designs in the near future because I think they make great inspiration for nail art. If you have a favourite Momiji doll that you'd want me to paint a design of, then leave me a comment down below. If you want to check out Momiji's dolls, then I'll leave a link to their website in the description along with a list of all the products I use for this design. I hope you enjoyed this video and happy nail painting. <laughs>